instead of comparing some quantity to a set value, we can also use inequalities when we want to compare two different quantities, both of which we have to set up relatively complicated expressions for. Let's see an example of a place where we need to do that. Suppose Quinn is choosing between two savings accounts. The first account pays 1% interest. The second account pays 3% interest, but charges a $20 fee at the beginning of the year. For how large a deposit will the second plan give a larger final balance? So again, we're going to start by just writing down what the inequality is that we're interested in. We want to know when the second account's final balance will be greater than the first account's final balance. So we need to write expressions for each account's final balances. What's our variable going to be? The question is asking us for how large a deposit. So I'm going to say D equals we're talking about interest here, which represents a percent increase. So for the first plan, the starting balance is just going to be D, the initial deposit. The, the percent change for the first account is 1%, which is 0.01. And therefore, the final balance will be 1 plus 0 0.01 times the initial deposit. For the second plan, now at the start of the year, before the money starts earning interest, the bank charges a $20 fee. So at the start of the year, we have D minus $20. But now the percent change, the second account pays 3% interest. So the percent change is 3%, which is 0 0.03. And therefore, the final amount in the second account is 1 plus 0 0.03 times the starting amount, which is D minus Okay, now we're ready to put this into our inequality. The second account's final balance, that's this, 1 plus 0 0.03 times d minus 20, is greater than the first account's final balance, that's this, 1 plus 0 0.01 D. Okay, now all that's left is to solve this inequality. I'm going to start by simplifying my two expressions. First, I'm going to actually do the addition. 1.03 times D minus 20 is greater than 1.01 times D. Now we'll distribute 1.03 times D minus, let's use a calculator for this multiplication, 1.03 times 20 is 20.6. Okay, now that both sides of the equation are simplified, I need to get rid of the D term on one side. Um, I'm going to get rid of the D term on the left because there's no constant on the right. So I'll subtract 1.03D from both sides. I'm left with negative 20.6 is greater than 1.01 .01 minus 1.03 is negative 
0.02 D. Okay, now I need to get rid of that negative 0 0.02, dividing because those are multiplied together, negative 20.6 divided by negative 0 0.02 is 1,030. I divided by a negative number, so I have to reverse the inequality. Less than D. Rewriting that with the D on the left, because it's easier to read. D is greater than 1,030. For what deposits, then? Will the second plan give a larger final balance? for deposits more than $1,030.